I think one problem we have completed is 2.84 about admittance, right? Yes, ma'am. This one I think we have completed. Have we checked the final answer? Yes. Okay. So one more problem that you just take down this one now. <clears throat> Draw the admittance triangle between terminals A and B. Labeling its size and with appropriate value and units in case of x l equal to four ohm, x c is equal to eight ohm. First case, second case, x l is equal to ten ohm, x c is equal to five ohm. Yes, uh, all of you just listen to me carefully that there are three impedances Z1, Z2 and Z3. So <clears throat> Z1 will be, there is only one ohm, so rectangular form is 1 plus Z0. Z2, here they have given XL is Z4 and XC is 8 in first case. So it will be 0 plus 4Z and Z3 will be 0 minus 8J. And convert into polar form, then you will get polar form, then Z equivalent will be what? What is the equation of Z equivalent here? Z2, Z3 upon Z2 plus Z3 plus Z1. Yeah, Z1 is in series with the parallel combination. So, I will just scroll down. You can see here, this is the equation. Yeah. Then all of you find out the Z equivalent value and find out y equivalent is 1 by z equivalent and then I will tell you how to draw the admittance triangle. Yes, are we able to do it? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Okay, continue.
yes uh, all of you do one thing yeah first combination those who will complete for z equivalent they will proceed for second combination also same procedure find out z equivalent and then we'll just find out how to draw the admittance triangle leave the place after first case for drawing a admittance triangle find out z equivalent for first case then second case and then y equivalent am i clear Yes. Yes.
Okay, students, if you'll complete, write down in chat box. Yes. <clears throat> How many of you are still solving the problem? Please raise your hand. Okay, many of you completed. So we can see here that after finding the Z equivalent value, we can proceed for finding the Y equivalent that is 1 by Z equivalent. Now what is the angle we are getting here? See the angle of Z equivalent? It is positive or negative? Yes, students. Positive. So, is it a uh, is it inductive circuit or capacitive? Inductive. Yeah. So, inductive circuit means here we are supposed to consider the minus phi. Means you will get a minus phi only because our equation will be G minus Z B L. Whenever you will get one by Z equivalent, it is in this form. Convert into rectangular form. So, this is your G and this is your B L. Is that clear? Yes. Yeah, so I think after getting this, you can draw the admittance triangle like this. This is your G, this is your BL, and this is your Y at an angle of 82.87. Same, you draw it for second case. Done everybody both the cases. Yes, how many of you completed? Please raise your hand. Both the cases. Out of 58, only 17 students are raising their hand. What about others? Only 18. Half students only they are raising. What about others? Yes, remove your raise hand, everybody. Okay. Yes. Oh, uh, how do we draw that admittance triangle? Yes, I have displayed on the board. You can see. Uh, no, that actually, whenever there is an inductive, inductive is there. So general triangle, how we are drawing? That is, uh, we are drawing gen general triangle for inductive means here, here, R. Here Excel and here Z, right? Uske ulta, that is here G, here BL and here Y, right? Second case, Ajay, you are asking? Uh, Ma'am, the uh, first, actually, I didn't understand the concept of admittance triangles. Oh, you were not there yesterday? Yeah. yeah, I wasn't there yesterday. Yes, you have to uh, you have to go through once, then only you understand because we have done yesterday everything. And here is the second case triangle, which is for 
you can see here that here you are getting minus sign so if z is having a minus sign then it's a capacitive circuit so here you will get g plus z b c so here is g b c and y <coughs> yes so we have completed the part whatever we required for test two in ac circuits now just remember series resonance and parallel resonance is not there for your test two series resonance and parallel resonance and based on that problems are there i whatever i have shared but it is not there for test two right is that clear yes ma'am yeah you can see here is a series parallel resonance part is here after admittance don't read it now it is there for final examination but i didn't keep it for your test two syllabus So directly we will go for three phase now. Three phase circuits already I have shared with you yesterday. How much we are will complete that will be there for your test two. Yes, Karan. any doubt karan no no ma'am sir okay just give me a minute i will continue the lecture i will have some water just a minute everybody yes sorry so we'll just starting three phase circuits so are are you remembering what is single phase ac circuits generation of voltage we have seen earlier yes we have done in test 1 yes anybody please tell me how the voltage will be generated in single phase ac circuit anybody from you please tell ma'am with the help of ac generator uh, how it will work and we have to take uh, magnets and then we have, then with the help of lenz law or faraday's law the yes. current can be produced okay so we are using faraday's law of electromagnetic induction 
right whenever conductor cuts the flux emf get induced in it right so same phenomenon will be applicable here faraday's law of electromagnetic induction but only for three phases means for ac circuit generation we are using only one phase means one coil which carries two conductors a b and c d are you remembering that everybody yes or no that ab and cd will cut the flux that coil is placed in the vicinity of two permanent magnet and that the coil will cut the permanent flux means the conductor will cut the flux and emf get induced in it so similar type of diagram is here only the see this one it is same type that there is a coil which is having two conductors which is placed in the vicinity of permanent magnet this coil will move in clockwise or anti clockwise direction and at that time whenever it will move in clockwise or anti clockwise conductor cuts the flux and this emf vr will induce in it so ac voltage will be produced is that clear everybody yes only so how under so how and one or two students are understanding what about others are you getting it or not are you remembering what we did earlier yes ma'am yes ma so same yes, phenomenon that faraday's faraday's law of electromagnetic induction we are applying here for three phase and here just skip this diagram two phase generator is not required that you can read it later on in three phase generation you can see that it has three identical windings r y b R Y B is red, yellow, and blue. That will be noted by using inter as per the international standards. So we are not going to change these names. So R Y B, they are displaced by one twenty degree from each other, and rotating in anti clockwise direction with constant angular velocity omega in in uniform magnetic field. And this, if though if they are though they are placed by one twenty degree from each other. voltage of these coils will be same they are identical voltage produced by coil r voltage produced by coil y and voltage produced by coil b is same because they are rotating in anti clockwise direction with constant angular velocity and maximum voltage that will be applied is vm only so all coils will produce same voltage only they will displace by 120 degree from each other So V R is V M sine omega t, V Y is V M sine omega t minus one twenty, and with respect to V R, V B will be V M sine omega t minus two forty. And the resultant if we produce for these three, V R plus V Y plus V B, if you are going to calculate the value, always at every instant resultant of these voltages will be zero. At every instant, if we we'll see the diagram here. these are the three coils r y and b on the reference y is carry, y is lag, lagging the uh, r by 120 degree b is lagging the r by 240 degree so these all coils are moving in anti clockwise direction with constant angular velocity and first r will produce this is a reference position so vr will be produced then after 120 degree vy will be produced and then after 240 degree vb will be produced so at every instant if you are going to take the resultant of all three voltages then it will be zero so like that the voltage will be generated for all three so three phases will carry three voltages with the same value but with the displacement of 120 degree so here you can see the first phase vr is here vy is at 120 degree and vb is at 240 so angle between all any two combination is 120 degree <coughs> is that clear everybody yes or no yes what about others understood about three phase generation or any query you have yes or no yes d2c what happened understood ma'am 60 students may say only 4 to 5 students are giving Sorry, answer today 
Yes, ma'am. I want answer from everybody from your class. Don't do like this. This is a very important topic which will be there for final examination. If you listen this topic carefully, and then you can study at the time of a final exam. That is enough for you. Oral. If you are going to listen this topic carefully, then oral me. आपको पढ़ने की जरूरत नहीं है. But don't do like this. Listen it carefully. Whatever query you have, you can clear it now. Okay. Now this is a three phase generation. <coughs> Now, these advantages of three-phase system you study later on. As uh, I am not going to explain these advantages to you. Actually, three. When I say the three-phase generation is there, there are some concepts. There is a definition. Concepts are what is phase sequence, what is phase voltage, phase current, line voltage, line current. this all four definitions voltage and current wala then i will explain you in the next point but what is the phase sequence you can understand this order in which the voltage in three phases reach their positive maximum value is called phase sequence or phase order means in earlier diagram if you will see our reference voltage is vr which is starting from the reference position then after 120 degree vr will start then after 240 degree vb will start so vr will reach at the positive maximum value first then vy will reach at positive maximum value second and then vb so it is called as a phase sequence of voltages or phase order right and in this the main thing is we required balance system balance system means three phase system in uh, is said to be balanced when voltage in three phases are equal in magnitude but differ by 120 degree from each other as i told you earlier v r is vm sin omega t v y is vm sin omega t minus 120 and vb is vm sin omega t minus 240 so this is the main thing that you supposed to remember current also same current in all three phases are equal in magnitude but differ by 120 degree from each other and load also same load should be identical having same magnitude and power factor but they are displaced by 120 degree from each other so this is called as a balance system every in three phase circuits whatever system you are considering has to be balanced right so this system is interconnected by two different ways so interconnection of three phases is first is star or y connection second is delta or mesh connection already you know what is star and delta connection you have done in star delta dc circuits star means having three different nodes and they, they are all three resistances are connected in the middle point it's called as a neutral point delta means it's a triangle connected a triangle in triangle all three resistances are connected now here instead of resistances our uh, electric supply means we can say coils are connected in star or delta and also load will be connected in star and delta depending on your connection if your supply is connected in star then load will be in star connection if your supply is in delta then load will be in delta connection you can see here in this diagram whenever there is a star connection this is my load which is giving you a value voltage vr so my load is connected in star generally jaise resistance aap connect karte ho dc mein waise hi aapko load connect karna hai here is one coil r then b and y which is connected in the middle at n point so this will produce vr vy and vb they are displaced by 120 degree from each other right so here you can see the three different coils are connected at same voltages but displaced by 120 degree <coughs> now next is if we are going to see this is a supply and this is a load both are interconnected means supply is connected in star so r y b and the middle point is neutral and a load is connected also in star with same magnitude and same power factor so all the values of impedances are zph 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 this zph is connected to r and a neutral point 
this red pit is connected to b and a neutral point this red pit is connected to y and a neutral point current flowing through in first line is ir in second line is iy in third line is ib all the currents will meet at n and the addition of all three current that is ry plus iy plus ib will be flowing through this neutral current line that is called as resultant of all three currents is zero that's why we are calling as a neutral line so this system is called as three phase four wire star connected system because fourth wire is also there three phase four wire star connected system now in this system current ir is what ir is i m sin omega t i y is i m sin omega t minus 120 and i b is i m sin omega t minus 240 Okay, so equations. If you'll see here, you can see the equation of three currents. Same like your voltages, and resultant of all three currents will be zero in a neutral line, right? This is the main diagram of star connection. Now, as I told you earlier, there are four definitions: phase voltage, phase current, line voltage, line current. now if you see the diagram here these are the three lines connect coming here towards the load but across zph these are called as phases rn yn bn these are called as phases and the lines are r y and b so if we are going to find out the relationship between line voltage and phase voltage here as the load is balanced three phase voltages vrn vyn and vbn as i told you earlier that this rn is a phase voltage that is vrn vyn is also a phase voltage because it is across your impedance across your one phase and vb is uh, vbn is another third phase voltage now what is line voltage line voltage in between two lines three lines are there so if i am going to find out the value of voltage between r and y so it is called as vry it is called as line voltage voltage between y and b is vyb another line voltage and voltage between b and r is vbr third line voltage so all these three line voltages are having same value but they are displaced by 120 degree from each other same here for these three phase voltages vrn vyn and vbn are having a same value but they are displaced by 120 degree from each other so now what is happening here just listen to me carefully that line voltage is between two lines but phase voltage is not similar to the line voltage vry is a line voltage but our phase voltage is not equal to vry single phase voltage there is a relationship between your line voltage and phase voltage right <coughs> so you can call vr and vy and vbn as vph vry vyb and vbr is vl vl is line voltage so for that relationship the derivation is definitely will come in final examination for star or delta so how to proceed for finding the definition let's just we are going to find out these three equations what is vl line voltage three lines vry vyb and vbr now if we'll write equation of vry vyb and vbr in terms of phase voltages how we'll write it that vry is equal to vrn plus vny look at here in this diagram vry that is this one start from r it will be vrn plus vny and we'll complete it here so we'll get vry what is vyb start from y it will be vyn vnb is equal to vyb same for vbr so we'll get three equations of line voltages in terms of phase voltages this is not only addition this is a phasor sum of these two voltages right so by using these three equations we are supposed to draw a phasor diagram 
after understanding a phasor diagram only you can find out the value of line voltage in terms of phase voltage now everybody clear what i said till now about the equations of three three phase voltages anybody have a doubt here anybody yes everybody understood yes anura ha huh? ha huh. Ah, that is equation. Now these three equations, what I have displayed, right? See, this is V R Y, V R N plus V N Y. Start from R line. R line, say we will start. Then we'll write V R N. R N is here. V R N plus V N Y, and come back to Y line. So this is your V R Y. If you are finding V Y B. start from by y line come back to phase so here v y n plus v n y because we are starting from n that's why we are writing v n b and then we'll get here v y b is it clear right yeah. if you understood these all equations then only you can draw a phasor diagram anybody have a doubt they can raise their hand or otherwise unmute and tell me how many of you understood all equations and everything till now yes raise your hand everybody out of 60 students 20 students are raising their hands so baki 40 ko samjha hai ya nahi samjha hai how can i understand abhi number 30 ke paas aaya what about other other 30 students okay many of you giving yes then fine so i think nobody okay you can remove your raise hand i think many of you understood what i said about three phase equations right so now we'll just draw phasor diagram all of you be ready with the page pencil and scale every time if you're not using scale it is fine but try to use it whenever you draw the phasor diagram i will give you one minute be ready with it Yes, everybody ready? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Now, generally, what we are considering that our uh, R is a line or a voltage, phase voltage. R as a, these are the reference voltage. Okay. R is starting from zero reference position. So here, actually, what is V R Y? V R Y is the addition of two voltages. we can't consider vry as a reference so we'll consider vrn as a reference everybody will draw now vrn as a reference here draw vrn as a reference and then draw vyn 
and BBN displaced by 120 degree from each other. All three phase voltages will displace by 120 degree from each other. So draw VRN at 120 degree, draw VYN at 120 degree again, you draw VBN. Done, everybody? Yes or no? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes. Now, we will see diagram again. Just a minute. As I told you, VRY is v line voltage and VRN is a phase voltage. So these are different here in a star connection. But line current and phase current are same in star connection because you can see ir current is coming here and same current will flow through this point to the phase ib is coming here same ib current will flow through the phase iy is coming here same iy current will flow through the phase so il is equal to ith in star connection they are always same so what we can write here that you can consider any one current. So here we are considering IR, IB and IY. Here you will consider the inductive load. If inductive load we are considering means ZPH value which carry, carries R plus J XL. Whenever inductive load is there at a time current will lag the voltage by angle phi. So always IR will lag the VRN by angle phi. IY will lag the VR, VYN by angle phi and I, IB will lag the VBN by angle phi. So draw these three currents lagging the voltage by angle phi. If you complete drawing the current then unmute and tell me. I will proceed for next part. Yes, I think done. So how many you raise hand because of the completion, right? No, ma'am, I have problem. Yes, yes, ma'am. Ma'am, why we have to uh, induct to load? No, it's, a, it's a assumption. See, if it is a capacitive load, say at that time, what you're supposed to do? That is, instead of drawing current here, you're supposed to draw the current here. Yes, Are you getting my point? Yes, yes. Yeah. So that current will lead the VRN voltage. IY current will lead the VYN voltage. And IB current will lead the VBN voltage. Now clear? Yes. Sir. Yeah. So it is depending on your load. You are going to draw a phase diagram in final examination also. So after your test two, whenever we have one week, we'll complete our syllabus, then we'll draw a phaser diagram. You're going to draw it and you're going to, I'm just creating an assignment. I will give you a question on three phase of drawing a, a, the star connection phaser diagram and delta connection phaser diagram or both for, um, you can say, uh, the inductive load and capacitive load. Then you, uh, you will draw it and you have to show me. It is both the diagrams are not there in a book. You're supposed to draw it from your side. Okay. So after drawing R, I, I, R, I, Y, and I, B, what is our equation of V, R, Y? It is V, R, N plus V, N, Y. Now we have V, R, N here, but we don't have V, N, Y. We have V, Y, N. So if we'll draw this same line opposite in opposite direction, so we'll get here V, N, Y. So draw dotted line in opposite directions, so we will get here VNY. So addition, phasor addition of VRN and VNY will produce here VRY. Phasor addition of VRN and VNY will produce here VRY. And here will be your VRY, draw, draw line for VRY voltage. Same here for second, VYB is equal to VYN plus VNB. So here we have VYN. But we don't have VNB, we have VBN. 
in opposite direction to VB and draw dotted lines, we will get here V and B. Phasor addition of these two will produce BYB. Same for BBR. Is that clear, everybody? Yes or no? Yes. Sir. What about others? Yes. Understood what I said? Uh, Ma'am? Yes? Yes. Ma'am, IB is not exactly at 99. It is maybe 110 or something. Which one? IB, IB. IB current? Ah, yeah. 90 means? No, it is not at 90. Right. It is okay. lagging the VBN uh, voltage by angle phi. Okay. Randomly we are drawing it. Okay, randomly we are drawing it. Okay. Yeah. If they will give you a in a question that angle between voltage and current is this much, then you are supposed to use that curve, uh, phi angle only. Okay, ma'am. So here, after drawing, you can see the angle between V R N and V N Y is sixty degree. Angle between V Y N and V N B is sixty degree. So here you can see the angle between these two will be sixty. Angle between these two will be 60. Angle between these two will be 60. So we will use now law, law of parallelogram. Means use law of parallelogram. Are you remembering that? How to use it here? It will be VRY square is equal to VRN square plus VNY square plus 2 into VRN VNY cos of angle between these two. So you will get it here like this. Now what is VRY? It's VL, line voltage. VR and VNY is a phase voltage. Substitute the value here. So we will get here equation like this. VL square is equal to VPH square plus VPH square plus 2 into VPH VPH cos of 60. That is 3 into VPH square. So VL is equal to root 3 VPH. That is your final equation. That is your relationship between line voltage and phase voltage. Line voltage is equal to root 3 into phase voltage. By using this phasor diagram and this law of parallelogram, you can find out the relationship between line voltage and phase voltage. Am I clear? Yes or no? Yes, sir. So line voltage and phase voltage relationship between understood. That is VL is equal to root 3 VPH. And as I told you earlier, that is line current IL is equal to IPH. Always in star connection right and therefore from that equations we can find out the power 3 into vph iph cos phi that we know already what is the equation of power generally vi cos phi but here three phase circuit is there so that's why we are multiplying it with 3 what is vph is vl by root 3 iph is il substitute the value here root 3 into vl by root 3 into il cos phi so power is equal to root 3 VL IL cos phi. Total power absorbed by the circuit is root 3 VL IL cos phi. So all of you just note down these three equations that are important. VL is equal to root 3 VPH. IL is equal to IPH. And power is equal to root 3 VL IL cos phi. I will come back to you within a minute. All of you just note down this. And then we will proceed for problems. Yes, students, can we take a break for two, three minutes? Sure. Yeah, we'll take a break for two, three minutes. We'll come back within three years. Yeah. But if you want to. Okay. No, five minutes. Ki break le lo, Why we require like... five minutes? Revise. Ho jai. Like... No, no, it's revision is not required. Ravi. We, we, we require to complete our syllabus. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So at, at the end, I need to discuss the points also. So we'll take a break for five minutes, okay? Two, three minutes, we'll take a break, not five minutes. All of you come back within two, three minutes.
yes so i think everybody ready with the equation so we'll just proceed for first problem all of you just take down this first okay one more thing is and i need to tell you that there is uh, only star connection is there a ka se there is uh, whatever we have computed for star connection that will be there for your test 2 delta connection is not there for test 2 only star connection and just and generation of three phase voltage okay already i have shared the three phase circuit folder with you all so don't study the delta connection to for this test 2 there for final examination now after this star connection directly you proceed for final problems examples at the end of this chapter so first you just note down the question that is example number 3.1 everybody note down the question number example number 3.1 three similar coils each of resistance 20 ohm and inductance 0.5 henry are connected in star a is star b is delta don't consider b now only star you are going to consider and that you are going to solve to a three phase 50 hertz 400 volts supply calculate the line current and the total power absorbed all of you just take down question then i will explain you how to proceed Yes, done with the question, everybody. Right? Yes. So you can see they have given the impedance that is twenty ohm and inductance point five henry. It is there in the impedance. So this is the inductive load, as I told you earlier. This is the inductive load. Right? And they they are telling that it is connected in star with fifty hertz, four hundred volt supply. so always the voltage which is given here it is always a line voltage so if we'll draw star connection diagram you can see here there is a impedance which carries a coil that is resistance and inductance are in series here another a zp is here and third zp is here both are having a same value but they are displaced by 120 degree here line current is there and here across every line there is a voltage 400 volt and voltage across phase is vph now by using these values we all of first of all you find out is zph value that is r plus zxl convert into polar form and then how will you find out the value of ith tell me by using three formulas we have three formulas vl is equal to root 3 vph il is equal to ith and third is a power formula it is not required here now but and if i know the value of vl how can i proceed for finding other values we can find vph yeah vph so vl is vl is equal to root 3 vph by using that formula you can find out the vph value then after finding vph we can we know the value of zph already so ith we can find out that is phase current and line current both are same here whenever star connection is there il is equal to ith So you can draw right that I IPH is equal to VPH upon ZPH will be your answer of IPH, and then after finding that you just proceed for finding total power absorbed. P is equal to root three VL IL cos phi or three into VPH IPH cos phi. Any one formula you can use. This is the first ZPH value, and then you proceed for VPH value. All of you just. First of all, everybody is noting down a diagram. Right? Have you completed diagram, everybody? Okay, completed. I will give you five minutes to complete this problem. All of you complete this problem within five minutes. 
Yes, I think everybody got the message from Tanvi that I'm taking two continuous lectures today till one o'clock, and then Sunanda Ma'am's lecture will be in the afternoon from two to three. So Ma'am will take from two to three.
Yes, students, shall I scroll down for the answer of BPH and IL? Yes, ma'am. Yes, all of you check the value of BPH and IL. And then use the formula order displayed on the board that is P is equal to root 3 VLI cos phi. Yes, done with the power value, everybody. Got the answer? Yes, yes, all of you check the answer. How many of you got the answer of PPH, IPH and power? Correct? Just raise your hand. Only 15 students got the answer. What about others? Yes. Ah. No. Equation, what is a, uh, uh, this one relationship between BL and BPH? Actually, what is the equation of power? Is, power equation is VI cos phi, right? And whenever three phases is there, we are considering it's a three into VPH IPH cos phi. That is that whenever three phases we are considering, so we are supposed to consider three into VPH IPH cos phi because of three phases. Huh. And then if you can, yeah, VPH ka equation jo hai, that is v, uh, VL is equal to root three VPH. That's why it will be three divided by root three will be root three VL and cos phi. Okay, remove your raise hand, everybody. Yes, so I think everybody got the answer. So I will give you the next problem that you are going to solve from your side. I haven't drawn diagram here. You can draw it. Delta connection will be studied later on. It is take down 3.2. Yes, all of you just note down the question and uh, think about it similar type only. Till total power absorb, you can calculate reactive and total amperes that I will tell you how to proceed. Okay, you can complete within five minutes.
is done with the question everybody how many of you completed yes, please raise done in chat box those who are completed okay write done in chat box yes what about others completed or not okay so we can proceed for finding the answers now so all of you just check the answer of vph zph i l i p h and then i will show you what is answer of total power absorb and then i will tell you to reactive volt ampere and uh, total volt ampere what is that i will explain you after 2 minutes everybody is getting same answer of ith il and zph vph anybody is not getting answer please unmute and tell me fine so all of you just uh, see here total power absorb is root 3 vli cos per it is same reactive volt ampere is q that is v into i sin phi v into i sin phi so here for three phase we are writing root 3 vli sin phi and total volt ampere means apparent power is v into i so for three phase it will root 3 vl into i like that you can find out the answers so continue for these two and then after two minutes we will proceed for next problem so we have done that 3.1 and 3.2 problem for test 2 because other problems there is delta connection that is not there for test 2 so don't study other questions इधर तक मीन्स यू हैव स्टार कनेक्शन उसके ऊपर जो प्रॉब्लम प्रॉब्लम नंबर आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू बेस्ड ऑन दैट क्वेश्चन विल कम ओनली दैट प्रॉब्लम यू स्टडी बिकॉज सिमिलर टाइप ऑफ प्रॉब्लम फिल कर मीन टेस्ट टू एग्जामिनेशन दिस रिलेटेड टू ओनली स्टार नॉट डेल्टा सो थ्री पॉइंट वन थ्री पॉइंट टू एंड थर्ड वन विल टेक इट नाउ ओके बोला Three point three four five six seven eight. Just uh, don't revise it for test two. Directly you go for three point nine. Example number three point nine. So that question I'm giving you. You try it from your side. Yes, take down this 3.9 example. A balanced three-phase star-connected load of 100 kilowatt takes a leading current of 80 ampere. When connected across the three-phase 1100 volt 50 hertz supply, find the circuit constant of the load per phase. So all of you just think about it. What is 100 kilowatt? Power. Yeah, that is for total power absorbed. They have given directly, and they have given the total leading current means I L I P H. They have given V L is eleven hundred volt. They have given. So by using three formula, you can find out the answers. And they want the circuit constants means Z P H value, R and X C or X L. Depending on your Z P H, you will decide it's a capacitive or inductive circuit. Okay. so all of you proceed i will give you 5 more minutes 
and then we'll discuss about the syllabus what is there for test 2 any query you have you can just discuss with me after this and then we'll take the attendance okay so 5 minutes you complete this problem yes so hum ma'am how is this line voltage in this case how how is this line voltage vl in other, in in other, 100 volt no in other questions it was vh no 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 always whenever they are giving you th three phase something 400 volt 50 hertz supply supply means is a line voltage Okay. Generally, they will give you a line voltage. Otherwise, they will mention here the phase voltage is this, this. Are you getting? Yes, Or voltage across the phase is for two hundred volt. Voltage across the phase is four hundred volt. Like that, they can mention. Otherwise, supply का जो voltage है, that is your line voltage only coming from supply, ना? So it's a line voltage.
place all of you done with the question ha okay i'll wait for two more minutes all of you complete it or any query anybody have they can ask me Yes, how many of you completed? Only five students completed. What about others? Okay, remove your raised hand. How many of you still solving? Please raise your hand. Yes, students. Okay, Varsha is solving. What about others? Out of sixty students, only ten students are raising their hands. What about other fifty students? Are they solving this problem, or what are they doing? Yes, D two C. Ma'am. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh can you please explain uh, when phi is negative uh, why the uh, circuit is capacitive yeah whenever phi is negative what is the equation we done for the capacitive circuit whenever there is a r and c in a circuit what is the equation of that branch we are writing can you tell me for uh, for z or uh... ah for z what is the equation you are writing Z is equal to root of uh, R square plus X C square. Ah, oh, in rectangular form. Z plus J X C minus J X C. Ah, oh, R minus J X C, right? Ah, yes. Yeah. So whenever we are we are going to write R minus J X C, the half phi angle will come negative, right? Mm -hmm. Why and why phi is negative? What do you think? Current is uh, le uh, leading the uh, voltage. Ha, ha. Current is leading the voltage. That's why it is. It is negative. Um, negative. Actually, ah, uh, see, current will lead, but our capacitive circuit because of that we are writing it's a minus sign. In phasor diagram, current will lead and voltage will lag. Generally, we are taking voltage as a reference, right? And the inductive circuit, what will happen? Current will lag. So what is the equation of inductive circuit? It is R plus Z X L, and Z angle is Z at an angle of phi, because the voltage is leading, right? Whenever the voltage will lag, at that time it will be minus phi. Whenever the voltage will lead, at that time it will be plus phi. Are you getting my point? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So relate your phasor diagram with plus or minus phi. Means relate your phasor diagram with voltage and plus or minus phi. So voltage will lead uh, means. Ha. Huh. Here we are taking uh, current as a reference uh, that line. Where? Means uh, voltage lead or lag, no? It's a current, no? 
हाँ सी इन पैरेलल कनेक्शन करंट एज अ रेफरेंस सॉरी वोल्टेज एज अ रेफरेंस वेन एवर इज अज वन एट द टाइम करंट एज अ रेफरेंस फॉर फेजर डायग्राम तो पैरेलल में क्या होता है करंट विल गेट डिवाइड इनटू ब्रांचेस एंड वोल्टेज इज कांस्टेंट अक्रॉस एवरी ब्रांच सो दैट्स व्हाई इट इज अ करंट इज अ इट्स वी कांट टेक रेफरेंस वी कैन टेक वोल्टेज एज अ रेफरेंस एंड इन सीरीज वन वोल्टेज विल गेट डिवाइडेड एंड करंट विल बी द रेफरेंस व्हाट इट यस सो ऑल ऑफ यू प्लीज क्रॉस चेक द आंसर्स आई विल जस्ट स्क्रॉल डाउन वेदांत आर यू क्लियर व्हाट इज व्हाट आई हैड टोल्ड यू अर्लियर यस मैम Okay, so all of you just check the answer of VPH, IPH, ZPH, and C value. Yes, done with the checking, everybody. Yes, sir. Yeah. So I will repeat one more time. I think everybody understood what we studied today about star connection of three-phase circuit. So I think what I will just discuss ten minutes. We'll discuss the doubts, whatever you have. Before that, I will explain you what is our syllabus of test two. First of all, RMS average definitions and problems based on that. Then. Phasor diagrams means phasor angle and phasors. Then pure R, pure L, pure C, R L R C, R L C series, parallel and admittance. Series resonance and parallel resonance is not there for your syllabus. And three phase circuits, whatever we have completed till now, means star connection and problems based on that. That will be you have to study for test two. Is that clear? Okay. Now you uh, yes, what questions you have you can ask me. Any question for AC circuit or three phase? Okay. So what I wanted to tell you the main focus you supposed to consider for conversion of rectangular to polar and polar to rectangular. Okay. Don't uh, take it uh, granted that आपको आ जाएगा. Don't do like that. Add properly the values with the sign whenever you have a sign. Means R value and X value will be plus minus sign will be there for X. So that we supposed to consider for converting rectangular to polar and polar to rectangular. Practice more about it. And one more thing is practice the proce uh, procedure what you are using for uh, RLC series and parallel admittance. Different procedures are there that you supposed to remember. Yes, Anurag, what is the doubt? हाँ हाँ बट यू कांट मल्टीप्लाय द रेक्टेंगुलर फॉर्म हाँ आई विल रिपीट वन मोर टाइम फॉर मल्टीप्लिकेशन एंड डिवीजन इंपीडेंस विल बी इन पोलर फॉर्म फॉर एडिशन एंड सब्ट्रैक्शन इंपीडेंस विल बी इन रेक्टेंगुलर फॉर्म ये सॉल ऑफ यू प्लीज बी ऑन यू इधर यस सो Whenever you are doing the multiplication or division, and the time polar form will be there. For multiplication, angle will get added, and for division, angle will get subtracted. Okay? Numerator का जो angle है, उसमें से denominator का angle minus करना है. Real part will be multiplied whenever multiplication is there, and real part will be divided whenever division is there. Whenever addition and subtraction, at that time, you are going to write, you are going to take value of impedance in terms of rectangular form. Is that clear, Anurag? Yes. Anything else? I have a doubt. 
okay what i will do i will take the attendance in between so you just go through in notebook whatever we have completed and then you can ask me at the end whatever doubts you have okay Yes, uh, answer your roles. Role number one. Present man. Two. Role number two. <laughs> Simran. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yeah, okay. Simran is there. Fine. Role number three. Okay. Present ma'am. Four. Present ma'am. Five. Present ma'am. Yes, all of you wait a minute. Yes, uh, Prerina is present. Roll number five. Now, roll number six. Present, ma'am. Seven. Present, ma'am. Eight. Present, ma'am. Nine. Present, ma'am. Ten. Present, ma'am. Eleven. Present, ma'am. Twelve. Present, ma'am. 13. Present, ma'am. 14. Present, ma'am. 15. Present, ma'am. 16. Present, ma'am. 17. Present, ma'am. 18. Present, ma'am. 19. Kalpana. Present, ma'am. Okay. 20. Present, ma'am. 21. Ma'am, present. Present. Who is present? I'm being present. Present, ma'am. Yeah, Kalpana. Is, uh, yes, I have written the attendance, Kalpana. Yes, Deepthi is present. Roll number 22. Okay. 23. 23, Himesh. Present, ma'am. 24. Present, ma'am. 25. 25. Okay. Okay, 27, Richita is present. Uh, 25, Atharva Jadhav is there. 26, Harshita. Yes, you may mute yourself, you may Hotwani. Mute. Harshita, are you there? That, that too, thank you. 28. Present, ma'am. 29. Present, ma'am. 30. Present, ma'am. 31. Present, ma'am. 32. Present, ma'am. 33. Present, ma'am. 34. Present, ma'am. 35. Present, ma'am. 36. Tanya, 36. 37. Present, ma'am. 38. Present, ma'am. 39. Present, ma'am. 40. Present, ma'am. 41. Present, ma'am. 42. Present, ma'am. 43. Malhar Pandey, 43. 
44 present ma'am 45 present ma'am 46 present ma'am 47 present ma'am 48 present ma'am 49 present ma'am 50 present ma'am 51 present ma'am 52 present ma'am 53 54 present ma'am 55 present ma'am 56 present ma'am 57 present ma'am 58 present ma'am 59 present ma'am 60 present ma'am 61 present ma'am 62 63 present ma'am 64 present ma'am 65 present ma'am yes yes anybody have a doubt about test 2 syllabus whatever we have completed in today okay yes anybody still have a doubt after studying today or tomorrow if you have any doubt you can convey the message to cr and then we'll see what we can arrange for anything for your doubts any session on uh, wednesday or thursday after your test means afternoon 2 to 2:40 you have a exam so after 2:40 we can adjust the lecture if you required okay we'll see but i i want all three classes together so same timing i'll keep it for all three classes for the question answer session okay so tomorrow today uh, already i have taken two lectures so to afternoon 2 to 3 lecture will be taken by sunanda ma'am and all the best to all of you the study well whatever we have completed and the clear solve maximum problem whatever i have shared in the classroom okay and just solve the solution and if you are not getting answer just talk to other students tell them to solve and then come take the answer all the answers are collect correct in br patil but once you cross cross check with others okay yes all the best all of you can leave thank you thank you ma'am thank you ma'am thank you ma'am